Okay, yeah, I'm Eddie Gray. I'm one of the directors of Apollo Energy. Uh, we're a utility management consultancy uh, which was formed in 2001, so we're just sort of into our 10th year now. Um, we provide a broad range of utility services to our clients, of which we've got approaching 200. Um, that ranges from energy procurement, managing of contracts, getting infrastructure and metering in for them, and dealing with any financial and other queries they may have. We, uh, we met David and Mike and uh, put together a proposal for a, a project which at that stage an unknown student could, uh, could uh, get involved in. The government introduced a new, uh, I suppose you could call it tax, it's called Carbon Reduction Energy Efficiency Scheme uh, and it's aimed at sort of larger users of, of energy, predominantly half hourly electricity customers, uh, to try and encourage them to reduce the amount of carbon that they are uh, putting into the atmosphere. So we decided we really needed to start thinking about how we could put together um, a service to them. Um, it was a five-week project um, and I got the brief from, from Apollo and from, from the EBP guys and uh, basically just talking about the CRC scheme, which at the time I knew nothing about. Um, so I went away and, and had a look at that before, before the initial meeting. And basically the, the project was was intended to look at the CRC legislation as it was at the minute. Um, as Eddie said at the time, it wasn't wasn't 100%. It was a bit, you know, a few things still to be decided. Um, so I looked at looked at what there was, uh, and then from that tried to sort of answer all the questions Apollo had had. We have implemented uh, the scheme that uh, came out of the project. What we wanted to do was go further with the CRC project to see. Uh, how we could then help the clients that are involved in CRC in whatever way, uh, how we could help them to reduce their, their energy uh, usage. The question I'm trying to answer is how does climate change legislation such as the CRC scheme affect the behaviour of in companies and, and corporate behaviour towards climate change? So are they, you know, when they see the CRC legislation, are they thinking oh, fantastic, this is an opportunity for us to do as much as we can, make all the savings we can, you know, just really go, really go for it. Or are they thinking, mm, this seems a bit of inconvenience, you know, uh, we just want to do, do the minimum here, and, and that's all we really want from this. Because then that feeds back, into, um, feeds back into Apollo and how they can develop their Enviro business. Because if the case is that clients only want the minimum, then you need to structure your products and services to suit that. You know, and you need to market them accordingly as well. Um, and it's a whole different set of products and services and marketing even if they really, really want to go for it. In previous jobs, we've had graduates come and work with us, but uh, not on a focused project. It's because they've been learning about the industry, for instance. Um, but to be able to take a, a, a project and focus on it, that's something that's beneficial as far as the university, the student and ourselves is concerned. We think it's excellent and uh, yeah, we, we would certainly recommend it to others and uh, hopefully we can find other ways in which we can work with you again. We hope ultimately that um, once he's completed his degree uh, that he can come and work with us and help us to develop the Enviro business. So we think it's been a great success from our point of view.